It's 5.20 in the morning. I just closed my eyes. I'm up all night. Okay, y'all, so now that I got all my favorite things in my kitchen cooking, I'm about to fix me something to eat, and then I'm gonna pump, and then we'll get a little bit. So, actually, I don't want this one. I want my other one. So, I got me some hash browns, I'm gonna have orange juice, and I also have water in this tumbler because. You know, you gotta drink your water, especially when you're breastfeeding or pumping. I think Kai's waking back up to be real with y'all. She usually be chilling. <laughs> and I'm also still taking my prenatals so yeah i take those in the morning but i ain't taking these until after i eat because if i take these while i have an empty stomach it make me feel sick and y'all excuse my background i'm gonna pick up anyways i usually pick up bless you i usually pick my room up around this time too because at nighttime, it get hectic. Like, y'all see that? That's a bucket full of dirty diapers. You know what I'm saying? So, girl, it gets real. <laughs> I do want to say thank y'all for the 2K subscribers. I love all 2,000 of y'all. Me and Kylie are so very thankful. Now, we're on the road to 3K. Being up at 6 o'clock, it don't really bother me. It don't bother me. It's because... I've already disciplined myself. I disciplined myself before she even got here. Like, I would get up at 6 o'clock in the morning and spend time with God. So, I still do that now. And that's basically around the time she wakes up. So, I mean, it worked out perfectly fine. <laughs> this is a realistic morning routine because this is what I do. Sometimes I don't eat, though, because sometimes I'm not hungry. But if I'm not hungry... I'll drink me a coffee, a cold coffee. And y'all see this? I'm reading this now. I'm not even finna lie to y'all. I've had this book since like December. And I just started back like reading it. I had to start over. But mainly if you watch the Crazy Face series, this book is basically that. If you can't find this book, get on YouTube and watch the series. That's all it is. But I love reading. <sighs> I went through three bottles of these during my pregnancy. I think that's why my hair grew like it did. <laughs> this is my prayer journal. I haven't been advertising it. It's on Amazon. It's called Getting Closer to God. You see, you have where you can write the notes, prayer, key verses, key points, and application. How can you apply the verses to your life? And I gotta make a video about getting close to God because I already made a video about having a relationship with him. As y'all already know, yeah. But y'all go get that. It's $10 on Amazon. And one more thing, I'm also starting a ministry. So like my Instagram, so it's like my Instagram is gonna trickle into my YouTube. You know what I'm saying? So support your girl on this journey women empowerment because you know we need women out here uplifting women i'm gonna get you mm. hey baby 
But, you know, we need women out here motivating other women and stuff. I'm trying to inspire y'all to motivate y'all to chase your dreams. You know, I've came to the realization, like, y'all, I cannot make this up. Like, my calling, my purpose is so real. It's so real that I can't deny it. And that's all I'm set on. Fulfilling my purpose so God can get the glory. I know God got big plans for me. I know you do. So I'm not gonna not go after what he has for me. Like, you may have a goal or a dream that others may think that's crazy. Like, like this right here. This is why I need y'all to go watch this series. Because it literally says right here, it's only crazy until it happens. You just gotta have faith. You gotta have crazy faith. Okay, I don't care what anybody think about me. I'm not ashamed of myself. I'm not ashamed of God. And, you know, I feel like that's why God using me because he know I'm not ashamed of anything. Like, I'm very bold and confident about the things that I speak about. I'm, I'm very bold and confident about my father. So, when you have crazy faith, you realize that nothing is impossible for God. And that's how I'm looking at it. That's, God has shown me. He's given me a vision. And y'all, I cannot, like, deny it. Like, it's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? It's going to happen. But in the meantime, like he said, he got a series called Here is Holy. And right now, here is holy. Where I'm at, I'm supposed to be here. So, when I get to where I'm getting... He can get the glory from where I'm at now. Like, I can say, okay, this is where I was. And this has humbled me through the process. Because, you know, during the process, you learn during the process before you get to a destination. So, I'm always saying, God, just use me. Because I want to be able to help people. I want to be able to inspire people, motivate people, encourage people, and bring people to you. So, yes. If what I'm doing is bringing others to Christ, then how can that be something that's not of him? You get what I'm saying? So it's like, yes, I'm going for everything that I, I put my mind to. And it's in his will for my life. I hope this is making sense because I feel like I'm all over the place. But girl, you ain't got to tell your dreams to everybody. I had that conversation with you and God. And you focus on it. Listen, I cut the world off and I'm focusing on where I'm trying to get to. Not what people think and not what this world doing. I got to take this year out for myself. I got to sit back. I ain't no hot girl. So I ain't no, not a, I just have a lot like that I want to accomplish. And I just love the person I am today. And the fact that I'm so strong now. I just, I feel so good. Like God is so good, y'all. I wish y'all could just understand like. All the opportunities that can happen, the doors that can be open for you. And we ain't just focusing on blessings, but we just focus on God. Everything falls into place. Like Matthew 6, 33 says, says, But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all things shall be added to you. Once you seek God first, everything else falls into place. So don't just focus on God just blessing you. He is not a genie. Yes, he rewards the righteous, but he also rewards those who put him first. I put God first in everything that I do. But make sure you guys go follow my Instagram. I will put that below. Daily encouragements, stuff like that. But I'm finna get into some weeding for a little bit and I'll get back at y'all. <laughs>
Of course she know. I don't know. She just be on me. And it's like the cutest thing ever. But I'm finna put her down. Pick up this room and lay me down. Because when I wake up, I'm not. I'm telling you. It's good to keep your surroundings clean. Because I promise you. Your surroundings like uh, clutter and stuff. That's how your mood is going to be. And that's why, you know, we have to keep our place decent and in order <laughs> but yeah i do have to change her though i don't know how i'm gonna do this but we finna just get into it <laughs> Thank you. 